Organizations rely on Microsoft Teams to enable remote work and keep employees in sync. This video outlines options for sharing and collaborating on interactive Power BI content in Microsoft Teams as well as analyzing our team's data. We can see here the summary of all the messages and meetings, which is beautifully designed and showcased. There is also a total count of chat messages by date as well. There is a time period to filter the report, a maximum of 90 days of data. Team activity details will give the active users in the chat messages, and active channels by date. Welcome to Data Mualim. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified for more interesting videos. Let us first add the Power BI plugin to the Teams desktop. Click on the three dots and click on More Apps or Search in the search box. Click on the Power BI icon and select Add to add the plugin. Once added, we can see the complete Power BI service in Teams. Now let us pin this plugin so that it's always visible to access. We can see all the workspaces, apps, datasets, and contents. We can manage all permissions, settings, and security from the Teams app itself. We can add users and share the report access with links. We can create new reports and dashboards and upload the file directly. Now to analyze the team's data. Either we can click on Create Tab button or we can click on the Recommendations tab. Once selected, we can see all the data will be analyzed and a report will be generated. As this is a new team's account, we can't see any data yet. So, there we go, the report has been generated with three different sheets. Do you all know we can save this in the workspace and download the PBIX file? Amazing, right? Let me save the report first. And now we can download it as well. Once downloaded, let us open and see the data and its contents. The file is opened, and we can see all the sheets and the dataset available. We can modify as we want and use the data. On the Team Activity Details page, we can choose one of the teams we're a member of, and drill in to view its activities in the past 90 days. The page features a smart narrative visually. It automatically generates the activity summary, a text description that calls attention to the notable activity. The dataset has different tables like Active Teams, Teams Usage and Teams Usage Activity. We can see all the data available if we click on Advanced Editor the data source is from a package of team content. We can see the data model where the required table relationship is created, we can enhance it as required and use it. We can refresh this report as well, it's not a real-time feed. We can see a snapshot of the data, which is typically one to two days old. In this way, we can use Power BI in Teams and automatically generate a Power BI report to analyze our Microsoft Teams activity in Teams. Stay tuned and subscribe for more exciting videos. Also, comment below on which topic you would like to see my next video. Hope you like this video, if you have, please click on the like button. Thanks for watching.